Hi, this is Jacqueline with Yoga TX. Today we'll be working on yoga poses to help relieve neck and shoulder pain. So let's go ahead and just close the eyes for a moment. Check in with the body. Take this time to scan the body from head to toe. You can direct the breath into any areas of tightness or tension. And release it on your exhale. Open the eyes, and then we're going to start lying down on our bellies. So just come lying down onto your belly, and bring your forehead, forearms to the mat. We'll slide the shoulders or the elbows so that they're slightly in front of the shoulders, and then let's go ahead and get nice and tall. So we'll pick up the right leg, extend it away from the body. Pick up the left leg, extend it away from the body, and then let the knees be heavy and the hips be soft, so there's a little space in between the hips and the floor. And then try to widen across the low back by pressing firmly into the feet. And then from here, the elbows isometrically draw back towards you as the heart moves forward. So it's Sphinx Pose. From here, we're gonna drop the chin down towards the chest. And then we'll draw the right ear over towards the right shoulder. Drop the chin back down towards the chest and left ear over towards the left shoulder. Back to center. We'll do that one more time on each side. We'll go ahead and turn the gaze to look forward. And then let's turn the gaze to look over the right shoulder towards the right side. Inhale back to center. Exhale, turn the gaze to look over the left shoulder. And then we'll repeat that. Coming back to center. Gaze looks over towards the right. Back to center. And then gaze looks over towards the left. Back to center. And then from here, we're gonna lift the ears up and back, lengthen the neck. And then you can turn the gaze to look up, stretching the front of the, tho the throat. and then we'll go ahead and draw the chin back down. From here, inhale, lengthen the spine forward, draw the elbows back, heart moves forward. Exhale, lift up through the navel, chin towards chest. Inhale, lengthen the spine forward, release the belly down to the mat. Exhale, round through the spine, lift up through the navel, chin towards chest. Inhale, lengthen the spine forward, gaze looks up. Exhale, chin towards chest, lift up through the abdomen. We'll do that a couple more times. Inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, round through the spine. And one more time. Inhale, elbows draw back, heart pulls forward. And then exhale, chin towards chest, lift up through the navel. Good. And then we'll go ahead and lower the belly down. Let's place the hands underneath the shoulders. And the hands are kind of wide, as wide as your yoga mat. Elbows pointing up towards the sky, and then elbows draw in towards the side body. Press firmly in towards the feet, so much that the thighs lift. And then from here, we're gonna inhale, lift the torso up for cobra pose. Let's lift the hands so we know we're really moving from the back muscles rather than the arms. And then exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up, turn to look over the right shoulder. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the torso and the hands. Turn to look over the left. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift back up. Turn to look over towards the right. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, turn to look over towards the left. Legs are actively engaged. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up to center. Exhale, lower down. Now from here, we're gonna extend our arms out. And you want the hands lower than the shoulders. <clears throat> and then from here, we're gonna go ahead and bend the right knee. Use your right hand to press into the mat. And then we're gonna roll over onto our left side. So coming onto the left side body. And then that right leg can come down to the mat. 
The head can be resting or you can keep it lifted, maybe put a blanket or a block underneath it. And then from here, if you need a little bit more of a strut, you can extend that arm back behind you, the top arm back behind you, allowing that shoulder to open. Maybe the fingers interlace behind you. And just breathe here, getting a stretch in the shoulder area, front of the chest, and the backs of the shoulders. And then to come out of the pose, we'll go ahead and set the right hand back down, extend the right leg straight, and just slowly come back onto your belly. Come onto the forehead, extend the right arm out from the shoulder. <clears throat> then we'll bend the left arm, bring that, so that hand down to the mat, bend the left knee, roll over onto your right side. We'll do the opposite side here. That sole of the foot can come down to the mat, and then head can be resting, or again, you can have it lifted, maybe put a blanket or a pillow underneath it. If you need a little bit more stretch, you can extend that arm back behind you, maybe even the hands clasp, drawing the shoulders in towards one another. And then just breathe here. Go ahead and release the pose. Bring the left hand down to the mat. Straighten the left leg. Come onto the belly. We'll go ahead and place the hands underneath the shoulders. Elbows stay hugged in towards the side body. Tuck the toes. We're going to go ahead and bend the knees and lift all the way up to hands and knees. We'll do a couple rounds of cat cow. So we'll place the wrists below the shoulders, knees below the hips. And then from here, inhale, lengthen the spine forward. Exhale, round through the spine, press into the hands, chin towards chest. Inhale, lengthen the spine forward as you soften the heart and the belly down towards the mat. Exhale, press into the hands, lift up through the navel, chin towards chest. Inhale, lengthen the spine forward, gaze looks up. Exhale, press into the hands, chin towards chest. Inhale, lengthen the spine forward, gaze looks up. Exhale, press into the hands, chin towards chest. Inhale, lengthen the spine forward, turn the gaze to look up. Exhale, we're gonna press all the way back into child's pose. So toes come together, send the hips back towards the heels, and then rest the forehead down on the mat or a block. And then let's soften the arms down by our sides. And then here, we'll just pivot on our forehead, looking over towards the right. And then back to center, over towards the left. And just do that a few more times at your own pace. Pivoting on the forehead, stretching the neck a little bit here in child's pose. And we'll come back to center here. So the area between the brow is resting on the mat, your third eye point, your intuitive center. We'll extend the arms out from the shoulders. Press the 10 fingers firmly into the mat so much that the forearms lift, the elbows start to straighten. Lift up through the armpits. And then from here, let's come up onto the fingertips, making a tent with the hands, which draws the shoulders onto the back, just opening up the shoulders a little bit more. Continue to lift up through the armpits. And then from here, we're gonna broaden across the shoulders so the triceps roll in towards one another. Place the hands back down on the mat. Keep all of that nice shoulder integration we just did. Inhale, come up to hands and knees. Exhale, tuck the toes under. Press into the hands to lift the hips up and back. Coming into down dog. With the arms. <clears throat> knees can be bent. Chest drawing back towards thighs. And then here, let's just make some yes and no movements with the head, just softening the neck. And then if at any time this gets to be too much, you can always just lower the knees back down. Good. 
Good. We'll go ahead and bring the ears in line with the arms. You can start to straighten the legs a little bit if you'd like. Really lifting up through the hips and the groins as you press into the ten fingers, ten toes. Draw the low ribs in. And then from here, we're going to walk the feet forward and the hands can walk back to meet the feet, coming into a forward fold. Let's take the feet a little wider than the hips and plant the feet firmly into the mat. So pressing into the big toe, pinky toe, the heels, reach for each elbow. And then here, we're just going to make some figure eights with the elbows, really getting into the shoulders, releasing tightness, tension on each exhale can move the head with the arms, just letting it go here. We'll keep the knees bent here quite a bit so we can release the spine and the neck. And then we'll come back to center here with the torso. Bring the hands to the shins or the knees. Inhale, we'll lengthen the spine forward, draw the shoulders back, gaze looks up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine, gaze looks up, shoulders draw back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine, gaze looks up, shoulders draw back. Exhale, fold. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, lengthen the spine, draw the shoulders back, gaze looks up. Exhale, fold. From here, we'll bend the knees, walk the hands forward, and then the feet back, coming back in through down dog. And then from here, we'll just go ahead and lower the knees down to the mat. And then let's take a child's pose with the knees together, if that works for your body. Toes together, send the hips back towards the heels, and then rest the forehead down. Bring the arms down by your side. And then we'll just pivot on the forehead again a couple of times, turning to look over towards the right, and then over towards the left. And then we'll go ahead and use the hands to press into the thighs, and we'll roll the spine up, head coming up last. And just come to a comfortable seat here. Close the eyes for just a moment. Check in, notice how you're feeling. Take a couple deep breaths. And thank you so much for joining our video today. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like and uh, subscribe so that you're notified of any future videos. And again, my name is Jacqueline. Namaste. Go ahead and bring that back. We'll sit back on our heels and just fall back. So your hands kind of by behind your feet almost. And take, ride that wave. <laughs> and come forward, plant your hands, and push up. So you're really just pushing away here.